everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I have some book reviews for you today. Some of them are going to be filmed tonight, some tomorrow, maybe some the next day because I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six books that I've read in the last like month, month and a half, maybe two. I'm not entirely sure about some of these. So you know the drill if you've been here before. Uh, same outfit, uh, filmed over multiple days. So yeah. Well, let's get into it then. The first book review I have for you today is Winter Song by S.J. Jones. This is one that I have had, I think, since it came out. Um, when did it come out? It came out 2017. So I have had this for quite a few years on my shelves. Uh, the, I started reading this, I think, back in like 2019 or before then. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'd have to go back through all of my videos to find out. Um, but yeah, so I started, you started reading this a couple years ago, kind of like I soft, I soft DNF'd it. Like I wasn't really that interested in it. And I was like, but I will get back to this. I'm not full DNFing it. So it was a soft DNF at that time. So I decided to read this. Um, it's marketed as, um, like a, as a labyrinth retelling, but I would say it's a very, 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 very extremely loose retelling I would say it's more like labyrinth inspired and everything so we'll just get into it winter song is about this 18 year old named Liesel and uh she has a older sister and she has an older sister named Kath or Kathy I'm not entirely sure how it's pronounced because she has like an accent above her name like the e in her name so I'm not entirely sure how that is supposed to be pronounced but anyway Kath is the um the more like frivolous like girly girl type character and Liesel is more like um musical she kind of reminds me of the main character from Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu if you've read that I it's been so long I can't remember the the character's first name I'd have to go back again and look it up but yeah so she likes to write music and she actually writes some of her brothers her brother Joseph is like a musical prodigy and she writes some of his music and everything and you find out throughout the course of the book that when she was younger she would go out into the woods and she would play with the now goblin king that she ends up meeting we he has a name but we never find out what it is so I think she just calls him like mine her which honestly <laughs> just makes me think of cabaret I will put a gif of Liza Minnelli doing her mine hair dance right here because I love love cabaret love the music and everything but that is a different tangent for a different day so you find out that she has played with the Goblin King in the past before he was the Goblin King and throughout the story you find out how he becomes the Goblin King and everything and so Liesel does I can't remember what happens but somehow she is taken by the Goblin King kind of like in the movie Labyrinth how the little brother is taken by the Goblin King to the Goblin City and everything and so Liesel is like I have to get my sister back. So she journeys into the underground, which one of my favorite songs from Labyrinth, by the way. Um, she journeys into the underground to get her sister and then she makes a bargain with him. Let her go and I'll stay here because the Goblin King needs a bride. Um, he comes above ground every winter because he needs a bride or else the, he just, the way it's described is that he has to have a bride or else the world above dies. So it also has a lot of like Hades Persephone vibes to it, which I'm here for. So she's like, hey, I'll stay here. You can have me and let my sister go. So he lets her sister go and they kind of like bond through their shared love of music because she likes to write music, especially on the piano. And he likes to play violin. And that's kind of like what brings them together. And it is, I cannot 
even describe to you how this book is. It's just, it's beautiful. It is chef's kiss beautiful. It is one of the most beautiful and heartbreaking, like beautifully heartbreaking books I have ever read in my life. <laughs> like it's just, it's so beautiful because it does have that like vibe of, there's this one part in Labyrinth where David Bowie is like, fear me, obey me, and I will be your slave type thing. And so that's kind of what the Goblin King has in this. He's like, I adore you. And then she's like, at one point, Liesl is like, why me? Like, why were you so set on it and on me being your bride? And he was like, why not you? Like, it's always been you. Like, he's been in love with them since they were in love with her since they were children. And it's just, it's so, it's so beautiful. I mean, I was like, when I tell you that I was like full on swooning at some points, Oh my God. It was like, I was swooning, literally sitting in my bed, reading, going like, Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so cute. Oh my God. They're so adorable. Oh my God. I love this book so much. So I, I like some people said like they didn't like this, but it's so beautiful. Cause at the end he's like, if you stay here, you will die. Like I have to watch you wither away and die. And I can't have that. So he lets her go. So it ends with him letting her go. And I'm just like, oh my God, I need the sequel to this book. Luckily, since it came out in 2017, the sequel is already out. I have not purchased the sequel. Um, I'm going to probably some point in the summer because um, I want to do like a little like Christmas in July haul and everything. So yeah, that was my incredibly rambly review of Winter Song by S.J. Jones, and I will see you guys later. Bye!